Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, just back again with a uh, another little video. So I appreciate it. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, let everyone know. I have some fun videos every once in a while, but it's not a professional by any means guide. I will never say I am. I just know what I know and can do what I can do. And um, I'm sure... As always, with everything in life, there's people that can do it better. So, we're going to talk about this Endytone Quad 6 that I have up here. And also the Stryker uh, SR955 HP here. So, this radio here, um, I bought with the uh, optional tone board on 10 meters. Um, but uh, I bought this after the fact. So, let's go ahead and see on this video here. This uh, manual says we can add uh, CTS tones to it. Um, so if we're looking here, it looks like we can press menu, the F will come up, press push, uh, channel one through five menus, press push to choose the menu, tune the channel. Um, so what we want to do is we want to change it to uh, number three here. Um, it will come off as busy, offset, let's see, and there'll be the CTS tones. Um, and CTS tones, the board that comes with it, um, is, is basically for uh, 10 meter ham repeaters. Um, basically, if it was wide open, it would be just uh, in and out static because um, there are other channels uh, hitting, hitting that uh, frequency across 10 meters. And basically, say if you put a repeater on uh, CB19, it would... Uh, just be unbelievably uh, on and off, on and off, on and off, because everything is wide open. Um, so the CTS tone is basically a sort of audible tone that allow you to have um, a control on the receive of the repeater. So it's just not opening up for anybody. It's the same as uh, a, a version of a squall. So basically it's a sort of audible tone that'll transmit. As soon as you key the mic and you program it up, and as soon as that tone on that frequency that repeater knows, okay, you're a user to use the uh, repeater, and it'll open it up. They do it on two meters um, FM a lot, um, but on 10 meters, uh, especially when you think about it with the skip coming in and out, that uh, it has uh, definitely a big use of on and off, on and off, unless you have tones installed there. So that's a reason you do that, you know, and set up the repeater offset. So I bought this um, board after the fact and installed it in this radio, but I want to see if it fits in this radio the way I've seen uh, a couple of different videos out there. So um, I'm go ahead and I haven't even opened this cover yet, but um, I took the screws out. So let's see here. I'm going to turn this on to begin with. Let's see if we can get to where we need to be here. So we're on band B. Uh, let's see, that's channel one. I'll make sure to change this back. Sometimes on these radios here, whatever channel and band you're on only changes that. And if you go off frequency and come back, it'll still save those settings for that one channel. Um, doesn't seem to happen when you do the um, modes. Um, but you can see a previous video that I did that, uh, save the modes in the memory slots. But, uh, so it looks here, we're going to go ahead and press the, uh, mem menu button here. It's going to display F. Then we're going to do push, which is basically this VFO. Um, turn the channel one through five. So that one's coming up as three. It's an offset. So let me do that again. Doesn't make sense here. If we do that, F, push. So that O1 oh, is busy. That makes sense. Two's, let's do it again. Here we go. Menu, push, busy. Two is repeater. Three is scan. Why is that coming up? So let's see here. Let's just open this up because it, it should not give us three for a scan. Um, but let's go ahead and see what's going on here. I'm pull this uh, radio apart. 
first time I've actually been in here. But I looked at the other videos, and it looks like there is a um, an option. And there it is. God, look how tiny it is inside this thing. Look at this thing. But we can put in a tone board. You'll see this kind of looks extremely similar. The inside is 955. Of course, the whole front is another circuit board all the way across. Everything in here. So, this is the uh, first time it's been opened. So, all right. So, we have our any tone. Let's go ahead and pull this off and see. I'm trying to condense my videos down a little bit. I had to extend this power cable here, or a speaker cable, due to it being an issue. Um, so look at that, that kind of looks similar. See what I'm saying? They kind of look real similar in some areas. Um, but, uh, so this is the board I bought. This is CTS board. Um, just go ahead, cut this. I zip tied everything real nice. I think it came with like one or two, but yeah, I like to zip tie all my uh, connections. Phone calls, great using your phone as the video recording device, idiot. But hey, just as they also, a lot of people are calling me. Uh, having a Voodoo Ranger, uh, it's my birthday today, so can't say too bad about people calling me on today, but I'm the idiot for still using my uh, phone as the recording device. But hey, we would not want to get out of uh, sync with being upper crust, right? And we start losing connections with our audience. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can just get this board installed in the other one. And uh, I can get my friend a uh, call back. So, look at that. The smallest thing. Do, 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 do. Long ass screw. So, here we are. We're just going to go ahead. Are they made by the same company? I don't know. All I know is this it is fitting in here quite nicely. Oh, see, I only had one screw hole in this, on this, this one. Um, but it it's crazy how this one just seems to match up perfectly. I need to add the other screw. Uh, let's see. Would this fit in there? I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's see. I'm I'm nervous. This is a different different branded radio here. Not using parts from the same manufacturer. Not recommended. Is this board the exact same one you need? Let's see. Uh-oh. Does it fit? Does it fit? Does it fit? Yes, it does fit. There you go. So, we already have this board installed. I'm going to zip tie this a little bit better. Not that it has a performance issue or difference, but it's just I don't know what's inside the radio. But uh, so we're gonna go ahead and just try it real quick. So now we're gonna use the same instructions that it says here to um, see. So we're gonna turn it on, we're gonna hit menu, F up, push, busy, repeater, tone squelch. Transmit. So, TSQ, we had on the last one, 
but uh, yeah, this this uh, this is the board that uh, will work. So you can go ahead and you didn't get any tone. You can go ahead and get this one uh, put in, and uh, you'd be more than happy to see that this thing will have um, the tone board. So you can get them from uh, the Striker uh, Radio website. So. Of course, we're not sure how and why those work together. We're not saying they're manufactured by the same company or anything, because one is a striker and one is an Anytone. And um, this one's about less than $200, while this one is upwards of $400. And I don't know. You make the call. But uh, I got some elk burgers to cook up and some barbecue chicken. So, um, yeah, that's uh, just a quick review on the Anytone. Um, swapping out the the, uh, the parts from one-way radio to this Anytone. So, if you have the room for this one, that's great. But uh, you can get away with it with this one, too. So, uh, any tone or striker, they, uh, seem to have interchangeable parts, which is always good. So I would say 73s to you, 1200 South Carolina, give me a thumbs up, go ahead and give me one. And I appreciate every one of you that enjoys my crazy little stupid videos. And I hope something is helpful to you to uh, learn from and, uh, any questions, comments, concerns, please put it in the comments but uh yeah i'll keep making these videos people keep watching so uh all right